Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez. We got a fun crowd with us tonight. We're talking about weight loss and the medications you can take to lose those extra pounds. Last week, we talked about extreme weight loss, those people who chose to go under the knife to lose 100 plus pounds. But now, something that's more manageable, 50 and below. You can turn to drugs that everyone seems to talk about, but we don't know everything, do we? Or do we? I've got an expert here, and they want drinks on this couch, and I've got Will E. Barb, the right. owner of the new High Five Mini Bar. Right, yeah, thank you. And so what is this? This is the High Five Spritz. So it's Capaletti, which is like a herbal grapefruit liqueur, um, some rose wine, and apricot uh, liqueur as well. Ooh, refreshing. refreshing yeah. And I know they're salivating on the couch. So let's get these drinks to them, and let's get into the weight loss talk. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. All right, we're going to start things off with a familiar face. We've got Kat Kearns, the owner of Renew Body Contouring and <laughs> Med Spa. Back in the building last week, you were on, and I wanted to ask you more and more and more and more questions about these drugs because you were saying things like peptides and glucose and things that I didn't understand, and I feel like everyone wants more information, especially because they're so curious and weight loss seems to be on everyone's minds when the stats are really pointing to a lot of obesity here in the States. It really is. It's kind of crazy. Um, you know, I don't know, you know, the Oprah thing that's going around mm -hmm. right now too. And, you know, she's starting to talk more about the benefits of it. You know, some of the stats that they've come out with, like 74% of the people over the age of 20 are overweight. 56% of our population is obese. So I'm really excited, honestly, about a lot of these, you know, they're, they're considered peptides, what a lot of these weight loss okay, drugs Okay, when you are. say peptides, what exactly so is a peptide? Peptides are, are things like amino acids, proteins. Um, they're different types of compounds mm. that help our body recreate or mimic um, different symptoms, like creating proteins that help to go to your brain to make you smarter again, like mm. creating your body's own natural HGH, which is a human growth hormone. Mm. So human growth hormone is so important to who we are as a human, especially when you think about the fact that our human growth hormone stopped producing at about 19 years old, okay? Oh. So that's what helps with your lean muscle mass, that's what helps with your brain, that's what helps with so many different instrumental parts of your body, inner working parts of your body. And so a lot of bodybuilders will go out there and they'll do synthetic HGH, you know, human growth hormone, to put on more muscle mass, things like that, where peptides, will help to release your body's own natural HGH. So is that a so, steroid that you were talking about earlier? So, or is no, it different? HGH is a, it's a hormone that your body releases naturally. Gotcha. It's a okay. human growth hormone. So it's just something that when we're young, our body produces a multitude of it to create muscle mass, mm -hmm. to create strength, to bone density, everything that goes on. So when you're looking at different types of peptides, these different proteins or amino acids or you know, different elements inside the peptide that are gonna be these things that talk to your neuroceptors, for example, right. to help mimic or recreate these things. So what's going on a lot right now with these weight loss medications is a hormone called the GLP-1. Okay, so this is GLP a GLP-1 is a hormone that is produced from your belly that goes to your brain, that basically tells your brain, I'm full. Does that take away from eating altogether? Because that almost sounds like no. very unhealthy to not want to eat. Not or is it at just all. taking away the the hunger for snacking? It's kind of like that hunger for snacking. Okay. So instead of feeling empty, mm. it just kind of makes you feel full faster. It also slows your digestive tract down a little bit. And then it has a little insulin secretion, so that way it helps to keep the fat that's being stored in your body and keeping it as fat cells, it just burns it up naturally as energy. You wouldn't believe how many people are on the cusp of pre-diabetic. Out of the, at, at my hormone clinic, I wanna say probably 80% of the people that we draw labs on, they're literally on the cusp of type two diabetes. Well, speaking of diabetes, Ozempic got a bad rap, especially in the beginning, because so many people with type 2 diabetes who actually use Ozempic for diabetes mm -hmm. weren't able to get the drug because right. it had become this amazing miracle weight loss drug. Right. So the reputation started bad. Absolutely. So let's re set the record straight for so Ozempic people, and other drugs like it. A lot of people the think that you know, if you take these weight loss peptides or these weight loss drugs, that you're going to be taking away from people who have type 2 diabetes or people that absolutely need it. And that's not true at all. 
Mm. Okay. These pharmaceutical companies make their own amount of drugs. Okay. The drug that Ozempic or Wagovi or Monjorna or anything that they're doing, they have their own specialty compound that they're creating. They have their own applicator that they put it into. Okay. What you're paying for really is the applicator, the apparatus to go in and inject yourself. And it's not the fact that semaglutide, which is the main component, that's the peptide that's in the, the Ozempic, for example, is that there's a shortage of it. There isn't a shortage of it. It's that there's a shortage of that particular brand name mm. that's out there that's being produced by that company. Mm. So when we do our weight loss medications, we go through a compounding pharmacy. And the compounding pharmacy has all the semaglutide that we need or all the trisepatide that we need. And you actually brought some of your own clients I here did. Did. to showcase their results. So coming up next, we've got two familiar faces who will be joining us here on the couch. So you stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about different weight loss drugs that have hit the market and are all the craze and receiving a lot of criticism and a lot of praise. We've been talking with Kat Kearns, who's the owner of Renew Body Contouring and Med Spa. And you've brought two patients <laughs> who are very familiar faces and I would not expect to be <laughs> patients. We've got Carl Lewis, mm -hmm. who you may know as an Olympic gold medalist, and his brother Cleve, who, uh, if y'all don't know, was the first black man to be drafted by the North American Soccer League. So we've got some athletes, star athletes here. Absolutely. And no way in hell would I think that y'all would be taking <laughs> weight loss drugs. <laughs> so why in the world? Well, I, I, think, I think the biggest part of this whole thing is, is, is especially in, in my situation, um, the, the advocacy for health and, and people staying together, because it's really challenging. You know, I mean, I, I'm 62 years old, mm -hmm. and all of my friends is very, very challenging. And so the thing is that I, I look at it from a broader perspective of um, it's not just a matter of, of trying to, whether it's weight loss drugs or workout or exercise, it's not just a matter of trying to look better. It's, it's also we want grandparents. We want knowledge. Mm. We want people having a quality of life as they get older. So um, it, it's really something, it's, it's, it, to me, it's more than just myself. It's really about an advocacy. And I work out. I ride bikes. Um, I watch my diet, so I, I really have a full uh, level of program that I try to keep myself healthy. But the biggest thing is to inspire people to uh, really be the best they can be and understand it's a real challenge. And it, and it helps. Cleve, what, what's been your journey? Yeah, for me, uh, you know, after my uh, professional days, which were a long time ago, I went into corporate America. And uh, I spent a lot of time traveling uh, in restaurants and just flying and being on the road. So you know, you, you gain weight mm -hmm. over, over time and, you know, your life changed. And uh, with kids and, and responsibilities, it really, really makes it tough to, uh, you know, stay where you were uh, for yourself. Right. So I just recently retired. And uh, with that, I said that the first thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to get fit again. Mm -hmm. Fit, you know, like I was, you know, back in my 30s. So, um, you know, I looked at a couple of things, talked to Kat. And uh, it's worked out very, very well for me this last year or so. So it's been about a year, a little over a year now that um, I've been back in some really good shape. And so I take it, I mean, listening to both of you, you guys have been eating right. You've been going to the gym when you can, like trying to maintain. And so it wasn't enough. Well, it, it's, it's a real challenge. And I think mm. one of the great things about Cat's space is that it's, it's, it's really um, a space where you could think about every facet of life, how to stay healthy and how to look forward. It's mm. about understanding the diet, nutrition, uh, but other things that you can do to make sure you stay your best and you're healthy. So uh, I look at her as, as more of a whole life person um, and a, a future person because you're looking at your future and, and you want to make sure that your future can be something that you can enjoy. Wow. You know, I, I, I would add to that, uh, you know, the hormone therapy. You know, there's mm. certain things that you're looking at. You're, over the years, your body changes. Right. And many people stay in their minds of 35, but they're in the bodies of 65, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, things just don't work the same. So you really, really have to understand the science behind what your body is doing and where it is. Right. And, and then go from there. Cleves, absolutely. He hit the hammer on the head when he said, you know, your body, they live in a 35-year-old body, but they're 60 years old. Right. 
you know, and your mentality does need to change. And so when you start optimizing and doing proper hormone replacement therapy, getting some testosterone in you, you know, for men especially, being able to put on that muscle that they were losing. One of my things that my men always tell me that they love about when they start doing the hormone pelleting for the testosterone, the first thing they did is they went to the gym and the next thing they know, they're lifting more weight than they were before with half as much work to wow. get there. You know, so they just love that feeling and that endurance and the serotonin that comes along with it. It makes you want to work out more. So these weight loss you know, medications are great to help you lose weight, but sometimes they have some side effects. Right. They have a loss of muscle mass that can mm. happen with them. Women see, you know, some women are losing their butts. Some women lose a little bit in the boobs, you know, things like that. Some men get a little soft. Mm -hmm. And if you're not doing the proper balance of making sure that your hormones are in the right place, especially if you're anything over the age of 40 years old, right? you know, make sure you're being able to retain that muscle mass. So I think one of the reasons that Cleve and Carl both have great success is they have great testosterone levels, they're hormone managed, you know, they're able to keep their muscle on. So while they're in the gym working out, pumping iron, doing what they need to do, they're able to lose that fat and right. drain the fat quickly, but not so quickly that they're ending up with the sagging skin. You and and y'all so, are doing a holistic approach. It's well, not just going I, I in and getting I look at it like this. It, it's not, you still have to get out and work out. You right. still need to get in the gym and lift. You know, once you start seeing the results, it makes you want to get out there even more because you can see the results. So it's, it's not like it's a one thing's going to fix everything. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but you still have to get out there. You have to exercise. You have to still watch what you eat, you know, and do all those things. But, you know, I think uh, holistically, it's going to get you there much quicker. You're going to look much better, uh, faster. And so um, I'm very, very happy with my results. And, uh, I mean, y'all look know, fantastic. Well, well, thank you so much for coming and talking from the male perspective, which you don't hear so often about <laughs> right, right. with weight loss drugs. All right, well, coming up next, we actually have a woman joining us who's going to talk about what it's like dealing with the body contouring as you're losing the weight on these medications. You stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. When you talk about weight loss drugs, all you seem to think about are the women. And so finally, we've got a woman joining us on the couch. We've got Dina Musby, who is busy, busy, busy as a real estate agent. Are you a broker? What? Yes, I'm a real estate agent. I have my own team um, with Compass and uh, just running around all the time. I have a six-year-old, <laughs> married, you know, president of the Women's Council of Realtors, doing a million things. A million things and being a mom and trying to tackle it all and stay fit as we're challenged to do all the time. So you yes. decided you were going to go visit our girl Kat and take on the weight loss journey through these medications. Yeah. How was that decision? <laughs> I was pre-diabetic, mm -hmm. you know, so I wasn't diabetic, but I was getting there, you know, and yeah. I was just getting weight just because of the time. You're eating bad. You don't have the time to work out. You don't have the time to do just the right. everyday things, you know, even eating. My husband always teases me. He's like, I, I never forget to eat. And I'm like, I'm just running around. I forget to eat. Right. So um, not eating is not good either. So right. and we and talked you think about you're that. Gonna, you're going to shed the weight not eating, but nope, maybe. Instead, your body just wants to store more yep. and you just end up gaining more weight. You yep. know? So how has your journey been? How much weight have you lost? I've lost about 25 pounds. Baby. So it's been Yay. great. I can definitely t tell a difference in the way I feel, uh, my energy level, obviously keeping up with all that I do naturally. And then the six year old that has energy, like if you can only bottle that energy mm -hmm. up in a bottle, um, it'd be awesome. But um, I think it just, it really just changed even wanting to work out, you know, and I'm not, I don't have a lot of time to work out. So your best. workout is chasing around the six year old and showing all these wonderful houses off. Yeah. That, that's the workout you, you I invested right in now. a rower because you can do a <laughs> rower. Rowing is a full body workout rowing, in 15 actually. to 20 minutes. You can do a full body workout, run upstairs, take a shower and, you know, right. be done. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I love that. And I think you know, what you mentioned earlier, Kat, was that women, we obviously mm -hmm. want to have that wonderful hourglass shape. We want to keep things right and tight in the right spots. But with us losing muscle mm -hmm. on, on these medications, you have to go with the body contouring. And you've gotten some body contouring done too, right? Yes. All right. Can, do you mind standing up, showing sure. off this bod? Hey. Okay, <laughs> baby, come on. <laughs> come on. So what, what did you do with... Um, with Dina. So Dina, you know, when she first came to me, it was very funny. We were talking about, you know, a couple of combination of things, you know, doing a little bit of body contouring and 
when we had looked at her numbers, we saw that, you know, her A1C was elevated, her glucose was high, her triglycerides were high. It was like, you know, you really are a great candidate for, you know, one of these weight loss drugs, one of these medications to kind of help lower these things down and balance yourself out. And she's a typical client that you would see in a med spa, mm. you know, works full time, mom full time, you know, chairs different foundations and societies, things like that. So, I mean, she's just go, go, gadget, go. My, so my biggest like challenge with her was yeah was the was the injection. Okay. Okay, and I so, see that you yes, brought it. There's a there's a once a week injection when you're doing these weight loss medications, and so people are always like, okay, is this something I have to inject it every day? Is it something I take orally? Like, how do I do this? Are you gonna do it for me? Mm -hmm. You know, we do give the option. You can come into the clinic and we'll inject you, <laughs> no problem. But Dina, you know, on the fast paced life scale that she has, teaching her how to do it for herself, you know, how and making that? her feel confident. Oh, that's tiny, tiny. Yes. Yeah. So we tell people to get skin. like a 3cc <laughs> insulin uh -huh. syringe because the thing is, is that you're only going to pull 10, maybe, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off here, you know, 10, maybe 15 units. So it's such a small amount right. that it's hard to see sometimes. So the smaller the gauge, the better you can see the product. Right. Then you're just putting it in, you can either put it in a, a subcutaneous spot like the stomach for a little fat. When people come to us, we sometimes put it in the arm, mm -hmm. you know. Either one, side effects wise, you know, I have found that the semaglutide does have more side effects where we have more gastrol and, you know, intestinal Talk problems. to me, talk to me, yeah. Dina. You're, you're, Dina's you're done both. She's done the you, semaglutide you, uh, and the terzepatide. I, you know, tried, I think, the semaglutide first mm -hmm. and um, within a couple of weeks, I was like, nope, that's not for me because I couldn't hold anything down. Like, Oof. I mean, everything, uh, my, I generally have a sensitive stomach already. Oof. But it just, I was like, okay, this isn't for me, you know, yeah. I just, and then she suggested that I tried the trisepatide, trisepatide mm -hmm. and it was a game changer because then also I was, found myself on the semiglutide very tired, um, nauseous all the time. I was just like, this is the opposite of what I need, you know, right, right now I can't be down for days on end, so. Dina also does the supplements, you know, mm -hmm. so we mix things with like a high phalonic, or the mitocore, which helps with the energy, mm -hmm. so you don't see that lack of energy. Because a lot of times when people first start this, they're not eating as much. Mm -hmm. And the one thing you do crave, I will say, because I've done it myself, I crave protein. Oh, which is Instead great. of craving the sugar and the carbs, I crave protein and I crave greens. Mm -hmm. Your wow. taste buds completely Your change. Your taste buds kind of change, yeah. Wow. So you're not craving the high fat, the high sugar, it kind of really has changed and helped me eat better. And I think it's pretty much done the same for you, right? So question for and you, I like Kat, desserts. When, you, <laughs> when you get to, let's say she went in and she was like, I just want to lose 25 and now I look fantastic. Do they eventually get off? Is there like a protocol for getting off? Yeah, or so do you we depend taper. on it for ever? We do, we taper you down. There's actually no reason for you, like you can come back on it or off it at any time mm -hmm. because again, it's not synthetic. You know, so it's still communicating with your body's own neuroreceptors. But we do have different supplements that we try to bring in while you're on it. So like the high phalonic, for example, mm -hmm. is a natural way of your body producing that same GLP-1, but it's done in a, in a vitamin substance. Oh. So that way, as you are coming off and we're tapering you down, you're not relapsing. Because a lot of people think, oh, when I come off of this, am I gonna gain all this weight back? Right. And some people do. But most in our clinic don't. All yes, right, it cheers does. to weight loss. <laughs> and cheers. there are options for you. High five. Yeah. All right, high five, because coming up next, I'm heading behind the bar to get a taste of high five mini bar. You stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. I'm behind the bar now because I've got Will E. Barb in the building, owner of the new High Five Mini Bar, and you're here to do what? Back that glass up. That's right, baby. All right, we love the drinks. I saw several refills during uh, the taping over there on the couch. Right. right. Uh, so now you're gonna shake something up. Yes. Well, actually, you're gonna shake something up. I'm gonna stir something up, but we're gonna make two oh, God, drinks. I suck at stirring. All right. It's okay. So. Uh, we've got a couple of things. We're going to do a mezcal Negroni, kind of a boozy stirred mm. drink. And then we're going to do the Up Top Sunrise, which is going to be like light, refreshing, fruity. It's got some cantaloupe agua fresca in there. Hell so yeah. We're gonna, All right, pour that up. We're gonna, and actually, I feel like that's what me and my husband had when we came to visit. Oh, and congrats I, yes. on the new bar. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we had swimwear department out. They were super fun, high energy, like surf punk. It, Totally fits the vibe of the bar that we have, so. Yeah, because you yeah. guys just opened. Yes. In the, uh, what they call goof. 
In the goof, yes. Yeah, so Garden Oaks, Oak, Oak Forest yes, neighborhood, right. and you're at Stomping Grounds. Stomping Grounds is the development, yeah. So it's a collection of different restaurants, um, and I'm in a little shipping container. High Five is a little shipping container right in the middle, so we're like right up in the mix okay. of this development Stomping Grounds. So you've got a... <gasps> that smelled so good! Yes, we make fresh cantaloupe agua fresca every day. Look at that, perfect. All right. Look at these thirsty people walking up. Right okay, y'all want to switch drinks, I see. <laughs> Didn't we love the cocktails? They were delicious. Totally. Amazing. Carl said we could have his. Yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, well, y'all can have one of these. We got one little accoutrement, the uh, Loteria card with the melon on there. Oh, I mean, I love the garnishes. Baby, Beautiful. come on, what better presentation? Yeah. Oh, All wow. right, cheers, Will. Cheers, cheers. Guys. cheers. cheers. Thank y'all for coming and sharing all you had to share. All right, Thank cheers you. to you. Lose that weight if you want to, boo boo. You fabulous as you are, but hey, a little help don't don't hurt nobody. <laughs> all right, nice. we'll see you guys next time.